Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, uh, part number 13, sorry for the long way. Uh, I was thinking about what type of stuff I need to show you to make this uh, little uh, not really production app. Um, so one of the things I want to show you is finally uh, uh, some stuff about the React Navigation stuff, but like having a, a full player screen where we're gonna uh, be able to continue working with our player context, be able to seek backward and stuff like that, but also I want to be able to have like a slider. Uh, so we're gonna surely use something like React Native Slider where we're gonna uh, be able to see the progress of the, uh, of the track finally. And uh, we want to be able, after that, when the user select the slider to go forward or backward and stuff like that. So uh, this part about adding the slider is going to be part 14 because before that we need to set up uh, our navigation and things like that. So right now, what we have, so if we search for a podcast, so full stack radio, and I click on the first episode and I click play, we have so this... Uh, a mini player right there but i want to be able to when i click here that open a, a model on top of everything because right now uh we just have this mini player and uh, i don't want to deal in this tutorial with animation and stuff like that uh, you have so many other tutorial uh, channel for animation like uh, william candion and stuff like that so i really encourage you to look at uh, him his stuff but for our case, we just want to work about logic and things like that. So yeah. So the first thing we need to do is to create our uh, new uh, screen. So in my component folder, so as you see component folder, I'm going to create a new uh, folder called player. So uh, in this player folder, I'm going to add a player screen that TSX. So right there, we're going to import react. From React, we're gonna after that create our player screen component. From here, we're gonna uh, get the box component. We're gonna export default player screen. We're gonna make sure it's F1BG uh, white, so background color white. After that, I'm gonna save and I'm gonna search. Okay, I don't know why I cannot search. Okay, I don't know why. Okay, I don't know what was happening. So uh, main stack navigator, and inside the main stack navigator, you see we have the tabs. So the tabs is put under all the screen. But if you want everything to be on top of um, uh, the tab and stuff like that, you need to put that at the same level. So here we're gonna have a main stack that screen name. We're gonna call that uh, players and component. That's gonna be the player screen like that. And also, we want the mode to be model, so that's gonna go on top of that. Now we're gonna go back to the mini player. I'm gonna selection everything and I'm gonna wrap everything inside a touchable opacity. And this a touchable opacity, we're gonna need to receive the navigation context. So use navigation. We're gonna import navigation from React, Nav React Navigation Native. On the on press event from the touchable opacity, we're gonna do navigation that navigate to the player. That's it. And now you see, Rich I can Harrison continue Bell. to click play. Spell. My sick working, but now if I click here, this open this full model. So you see, the model is on top of everything, and I can uh, swap it down. So this player screen here, gonna need to have access to the player context. So use player context. Also, I want to have the safe area to be around that because I don't want to deal with this um, uh, this notch and stuff like that. So safe area view from React Native, safe area context. So now we are there. Now we need to put a flex one of this safe area. So I'm gonna create a style sheet that create function right there. And where I'm gonna say flex one and background color of white. And this background color in flex one is gonna go right there. And now that's gonna make my safe area like that. After that here, uh, I'm gonna get the track. I'm gonna call that track and that's gonna be equal to the current track of the user right now. If I don't have a track, because remember the track can be a type of track or null, I'm gonna just return null for now. 
for sure I'm not I'm not even supposed to be able to open the screen if we don't have a track. I just want to do the type check right there so I don't need to do to deal with the null everywhere. So after that here I'm gonna create another box with a type center and I'm gonna import the text from our React Native Utility Design React Native Design Utility library. And right there I'm gonna put the track, the title. Now if I save, you see, we get a track title. That's perfect. Also, I want the text to be center. I want the text to be bold, like that. After that, I want to also have the, the artist name right below. So something like that, so Adam Wadam. I want the color of this artist to be gray, so to be a bit lighter. And also, I want the size to be small, so a bit smaller than the title. After that, I also want the text to have some margin bottom of small, so to have some spacing between the title and the artist. After that, what I want to do is to have the image at the top of that, so the image of the podcast. I'm going to do another box. And here, first thing, I'm going to create the image style right there. And for the image style, I want to deal with the dimension of the screen. So. From React Native, we can import React Native uh, dimension, sorry. And inside that, you can have access to the width and the height of the current screen by doing dimension that get window. So now the width, it, the full width and the height is the full height. So now here, for the width of the image, I want to deal with the width minus theme, that space, that medium, multiple by two. So we're gonna put a, a padding left and right on the screen of uh, medium. So medium it's equal to um, 24. So we want to have 24 left, 24 right. So it's multiple by two, so it's 48. So with minus 48. And I want to deal with the same thing with the height because I want the image to be kind of square. Plus I want this image to have a border radius of 10. Something like that. And I don't need the height. height. So now here I can add my image and for the source there's going to be track that artwork like that for the style as that EMG the image I don't like the, the uh, pixelization but I mean it's uh, I should have deal with that in the back end stuff but it's okay for our case for now now I'm gonna put the image center I'm also gonna have some margin bottom of medium to push our text below. And I also want to have some uh, padding top here of medium, not MB, medium, to have some spacing. Perfect. After that, uh, I want to have a little icon who told the user you can uh, go down. And for that, I'm gonna import the feather icon. So I'm gonna copy paste that from the mini player just to have the auto import already. Here I'm gonna create a box uh, here. And I'm gonna have my touchable opacity because you're gonna see what I want why I want to do that. So touchable opacity came from React Native. And for the icon, we're gonna use a chevron down. Size, we're gonna say I don't know 30, something like that and it's a number, so. so you see it's right there, perfect. So I want the padding to be medium. I want some margin bottom here to be uh, medium also. And now I want this touchable opacity to be able to click and go back. So if the user click or scroll, it can go back. So um, we need the navigation context on so navigation equal use navigation. From React Navigation Native, and I'm gonna just make this uh, import at the good place. And now on press, I'm gonna put uh, navigation that go back. And I can click here that go back, perfect. But the thing is, you see, I need to click the icon to be able to do this. Like I want to have the icon to be a bit more clickable. So you can use its slot and its slot take some inset button. We're gonna say 20, 20, 20, 
20. You can create an helper if you want, much more simpler. But now at least the icon it's easier to click if you have a big finger. So perfect. After that, I want to have the same set of icon for the as the mini player. So what I mean by that is I want to have this pose icon and this sick two, and I'm gonna put that right there. I'm gonna make sure it's their row. And now you see we get that. Um, I also want to be align center and justify center. Uh, I want to have another box before the pose here. And here that's going to be CCW, so you can have the inverse of the seek. I also want the icon of the seek to be 40, so to be a bit bigger. But I want the pose and the play to be much more bigger, so 60. To have this little effect. So now here, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put here a margin X, or margin left and right, of... 10 maybe 20 yeah so it look a bit more uh, have a bit more space after that here I want a margin bottom of medium perfect and now you see they all really work with what we have we can play voice about that sort of I thing can go for war but this thing right now go forward so the stick two here if you may remember we do amount and uh, by default it's 30, so position plus amount. So if you want to go backward here, I can put something like minus 10. So now I can go back right there. So yeah, it's pretty nice. Kind of a bit, in this episode of Pulse so you see, I'm getting back to the, to the minimum. Also, I want to make sure that my text right there they have the padding sorry about that of medium perfect and now this is uh, where we're gonna stop for this video we just manage all this stuff why i want to stop this video right there is because like if you remember what i've done what i've told you in one of the first episode it's when i'm gonna need to deal with library we need to be natively installed I want to have uh, I want them to have a one single video of the installation so if something happened in the future and we need to change it I can just change this video so I hope you enjoy it's not that much like the design it's not perfect but at least you're gonna get the ID and when we're gonna have the slider you're gonna understand how you can manage the uh, react native player uh, track player to be able to give you all the progress so you're gonna be able to see the minute and the second who left in the remaining and stuff like that. So I hope you enjoy. And again, the code's gonna be in the description, uh, part number 13, the branch. So if you want to check it, it's gonna be there. And I hope you enjoy. I'm gonna talk in the next one. Bye everyone.